This being my last will and testament, I leave my entire fortune to my grandson, Billy. Cool. But only if he learns to dress himself better. Need a new wardrobe? Burlington Co. Factory has an enormous collection of famous label menswear for less than department store sale prices. Grandma! Sorry, Billy, but it was the only way we could get you to dress nicer. Burlington Co. Factory. It's more than great coats. With all that money you save now, you don't even need my inheritance. You look. You stare. You hold your breath. Your pulse races. Is it the clarity? Is it the performance? Is it the sleek design? Flat panel high definition television by Samsung. It's digital temptation and everyone's invited. Before Jim Carrey and Robin Williams, Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis rewrote the rules of comedy. What are you laughing at? Sean Hayes stars in Martin and Lewis, CBS Sunday. Wednesday before Thanksgiving, gather the family for Survivor on a special night, CBS Wednesday. Did you know you can get 0% interest? Did you say 0% interest? No, I said zero down. Did you say zero down? No, I said zero payments for 90 days. Did you say zero payments for 90 days? Yes, you can get 0% interest, zero down, and zero payments for 90 days at Gillen Chevrolet Pontiac GMC. You can buy this new 2003 GMC Sierra extended cab pickup for only $17,990. You can buy this new 2003 Chevrolet Tahoe LS for only $28,290. Remember, the only deal we can't beat is the one we don't see. Flowers and jewels. Our policy is taking care of you. We earn your trust in all we do. Rely on us. We're taking care of you. Flowers and insurance. Our policy is taking care of you. I'm Tim Gillen, and when you think Mitsubishi... Samsung Digital invites everyone to enjoy today's NCAA game in high definition. Tuscaloosa, Alabama. The final stop on a season's odyssey through the SEC for bitter rivals Alabama and Auburn. For the Crimson Tide, it's been a season of redemption. A special group of seniors, fueled by the sting of probation, have played with pride, passion, and purpose to prove they are indeed the best in the West. The journey for the Tigers has been a bit more uneven, a roller coaster of failure and success. Nevertheless, Auburn remains in contention for a berth in the conference title game if they can pick themselves up one more time. Alabama Auburn, perhaps the most contentious of rivalries on this most passionate of football weekends. This is the Iron Bowl. Give the ball. Play like you don't care. There ain't no tomorrow for most of them. Go out and play ball. Play ball hard. Knock somebody out. If you deliver the lick first, eventually they gonna start playing soft. They gonna try to play catch. Don't go out and wait on them to hit you. Hit them first. Go out and have a good time, guys. Y'all have a nice one. All right, guys. Remember what we talked about on defense this week. and Tide of Alabama leaving their locker room as we look in live and we welcome you to the Home Depot SEC on CBS. More than a full house is jammed Bryant Denny Stadium in Tuscaloosa, Alabama as we get set for the Iron Bowl in 2002. 
Rutgers at seven and four. Crimson Tide at nine and two. Auburn takes the field first. Right behind them, the Crimson Tide of Alabama. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Vern Lundquist, along with Todd Blackledge and Jill Arrington. We welcome you to this weekend when all the tradition of college football takes on such a real presence. It's rivalry weekend. Folks here will insist with some vehemence that no game anywhere is played with more passion, more intensity than this one. If you live in this state, you are for Auburn or you are for Alabama. And the declaration of that loyalty has lifetime consequences, culturally, socially, economically, and politically. And the result of the game seems to reverberate throughout a year as well. The winners never forget. The losers are not allowed to forget. This one has real relevance for both teams. For Auburn, a mathematical chance to still get into the SEC championship game, but they must win today. LSU must lose tonight, and Arkansas has got to lose one of its next two games. And for Alabama, Todd, they've had such a great season, this team that cannot go to a bowl game because of probation, but all of this accomplishment might have a little bit of a hollow ring if they don't win this game. Yeah, they want to prove they're the best in the West. They've got to beat their arch rival to do that. And Vern, you know my wife and I have four boys, and I am constantly telling my oldest son, Harrison, you're the leader. How you act, how you handle situations is going to set the tempo for the other guys. The same principle applies to the Alabama football family. This team has gotten great leadership from 22 seniors. They have completely bought in to Coach Franchoni's philosophy and his plan. None of them left when the sanctions from probation hit, when they could have gone somewhere to play in a bowl game. They have hung in there through tough times and some good times and shown a tremendous commitment to this football program, to their school, and wearing the crimson jersey. Today, they wear it for the last time here at Bryant-Denny Stadium against their fiercest rival. This game, as are all of our games on Saturdays in the fall, brought to you in high-definition television. It simply could not be a more spectacular Saturday in November. Temperature of 58 degrees, 30 percent humidity, a slight breeze, and the forecast for continued sunny skies. Auburn and Alabama have met 65 times since 1893. Alabama has a series lead, but Alabama has never scored against Auburn in the previous three games played in Tuscaloosa. Now, granted, they played here once a century. The first game in the mid-1890s, the second game in 2001, when Auburn won 17 to nothing. And then they went to Birmingham for a number of years, came back here two years ago, and in a drizzle and freezing ice storm, Auburn got three field goals from Damon Duvall to win the game 